Right. Hey everybody, this is Rustin with Access Entertainment and Metal Holic Magazine with us today, Jordan Mancino of Woven War. How are you doing, brother? Good, yeah, man. Now, the last time I talked to you was when you were here for Mayhem Festival. Yeah. A lot of stuff has obviously changed since then. Yeah, indeed. And I was doing my radio show the other night, and there was a lot of listeners who were saying, "Who's Woven War?" And yeah. you know, they they're not as familiar. Obviously, the diehard fans of As I Lay Dying know who Woven War is, but can you, for for those who aren't as familiar yet, give us a little backstory on how once once you sort of got past that hump with As I Lay Dying, decided to start writing and recording again? How Woven War sort of came together? Well, yeah, you know, everything kind of. Yeah, I guess we'll. I think kind of happened a little bit after like, this whole holy incident. Right. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, once uh, once we all got back into town, Phil was actually on his honeymoon, and you know, about you know, a couple weeks to a month later, and, uh, we just sat down. And, you know, we, I guess the end result of that situation was, I guess, uh, was an indefinite hiatus for Asley dying. Right. Uh, just a reality that everybody you know, had to accept and uh, you know so we knew that we wanted to continue on the four of us uh, you know and start seeking out uh, you know that, that fifth member um, and, you know, main vocalist right. and uh, but you know we didn't want to rush the process obviously there's a lot going on at the time I mean just you know within our camp and just it was a swift kick to the nuts to everybody. You know, it was. Right. It wasn't just us. It was promoters. We had tours going out, going out. We had, you know, a record out. You know, it just it was everybody was affected by it. And so, um, you know, to to stay focused on the positive and and try to keep working and and, and not stay idle, uh, we just started writing and, and jamming together. Um, and you know, then we kind of started going through and making a. A short list of dudes uh, that we thought you know might be um, cool to have, like you know, as a fifth member. And I um, mean, this is before we decided to continue on with Thousand Dying or start a new band. Right. That kind of came, um, you know, shortly after that. And uh, yeah, and we just kept writing, and then obviously, you know, more stuff started happening, like uh, in the courts. And uh, right. uh, we just decided it would be best, you know, out of respect for our fans and everybody that had been involved with the band over the years and and us um, to was to be to, to preserve the legacy of Asley dying and it's you know, something we're all very proud of and right. um, and start something new you know we didn't you know, we don't want to just like get a new new front man and just you know be the cash cow to death you know what that's not what it's about right. it's about the music and we felt just given the circumstances like it'd be better just to start a new band and then from there like we started thinking about vocalists, talking about vocalists, and all of a sudden Shane's name came up, and um, we've always known him as a guitar player. Right, he's a great uh, guitar yeah, player. Yeah, great guitar player, you know, and I mean, I've known Shane longer than I've actually known any of my guys, oddly enough. Uh, so, uh, I didn't know he could sing, we sent him a demo that we, you know, had had recorded, and uh, sent it back with vocals, and it was just kind of like, well, I, I wasn't expecting it, you know, right. I just didn't know what to expect, I guess. And, and uh, yeah, I was just like, well, this really works, and this sounds awesome, and um, obviously he's like from the same place we all are, which is really important to us, you know, right. and just being able to mesh well, like long-term and short-term. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, that was it. <laughs> I guess we, we knew what we wanted when we found it, really, you know, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we didn't even, we didn't try anybody else out. We talked to, you know, one or two other guys, like just casually, uh, but uh, yeah, I was like, once we heard that, I was like, cool, check it out. And there's some history there too, isn't there? I believe uh, Nick used to be in a band with Shane called Evelyn, yep. and they actually toured with As yeah. I Lay Dying before Nick was in the band. Yeah, right? and actually, yeah, that's what, you know, even before Nick was playing with Evelyn, As I Dying played shows with Evelyn, you know, so that's how I'd known Shane. Um, we were on the same record label together, like, you know, early on in our careers. Um, but uh, yeah, so it was just, it was a shoo man. It was, it was really cool. And instantly, like, the vibe and the communication was great, and uh, you know, just the, the creative like potential having Shane in there, you know, was just like it, it was uh, it was through the roof. <laughs> well, you guys have always had a, a songwriting dynamic when you were within As I Lay Dying. Obviously, now it's switched. You've got a new vocalist who also plays guitar so yeah. well, um, a new mindset and everything. How did that sort of translate into the songwriting process? Well, we knew that we wanted to write with that vocalist. You know, we didn't. 
we were writing beforehand, but we weren't writing a ton, like, um, or we were still staying open-minded, you know, because we wanted to write for that person, you know, and right. with that person. And, um, yeah, but once Shane got in the picture, it was really easy. It was just like, all right, cool. Like, we chop these songs that kind of aren't necessarily like uh, fitting for his voice, and then uh, we just continued to write from there, and then jumped in the studio, and you know, kind of sat in the record for a little while until uh, everything, you know, what happened with As of Dying and Tim, like blew over, you know, and then uh, we wanted to make sure it was about the music before we announced the new band and everything else. We didn't want to be like competing with like, you know, Inside Edition, like TMZ, like you know, BS, you know. So. Uh, <laughs> And the fans and the critics alike have been pretty, pretty positively responsive yeah, yeah. To, to it. You made a lot of year-end yeah. lists mm -hmm. with the album and everything. That's that's got to be pretty gratifying, given all that you had to go through to get to where you're at with Logan. Yeah, I know, definitely. Yeah, we're really stoked on the way it's been received, and we're going to continue working like really hard and touring as much as we can, like you know, to bring the music to the masses just the same way we do with As of Dying for you know well over a decade. And uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's starting over you know, at a certain point, but you know, it's good and the bad thing is, is like our, our, our rep, reputations, like, you know, from Asla Dying and Oh Sleeper, you know, will follow us, but right. the idea is, is this is a new band, you know, and we're not like trying to like tap in like any sort of like outside, you know, uh, promotion, you know, just to sell a record, you know, right. we're trying to do this like, you know, with a fresh start and, and, um, and just go from there and build the real fan base. So. Well, and that's that's got to be sort of like a fine balancing act because you want it to be this new creative entity and you want everybody to respond to it as it is, but you also still would like to pull along all the people who have been a fan of you for well, years. Hopefully. Yeah, and we want to do that in time, you know, I think mm -hmm. it's just going to take time and we want to do it the right way, you know. I think, like, obviously with everything that happened, like our fans were just as affected, you know, right. and so... I think by by releasing the record and being out here on the road, we're able to like connect, reconnect with a lot of people, and um, and you know we're going to continue to do that, you know, for years to come. So, right now, the sound of Woven War is a lot more melodic, um, obviously, than As I Lay Dying. Was that something you guys intentionally went in looking to do, or is that just sort of the fusion of the five of you writing together? Uh, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of things behind that. You know, we didn't want to do As I Lay Dying number two, right. you know, sonically and creatively. We just we wanted to be different, but we still wanted to be us, you know, and, and still the metal and heavy and um, and um, yeah, it all just kind of came together like organically when Shane got into the picture. You know, yeah, there's a lot more melodic, uh, melodic elements, you know, and uh, singing, of course, right. you know, not a whole lot of screaming, but yeah, really, this is our first record, you know, and it's like we're we're the same way, you know, almost every band does, like from record to record, they grow and they like they they. Right. You know, there's going to be an evolution. Progress. Yeah, right. you know, and yeah, we'll see what happens in the next record. You know, but we'll still be woven more, you know, just, right. um, you know, so we'll just kind of see how things go the next record, but, you know, we're planning on getting, you know, just more intense, heavier, and, you right. know, more, well, I got a little more dynamic, you know, and, and along with that. So. And I got a little taste of the sound check out there, and just, you weren't even all on the stage, and the vocals were just very front and present and it was it was really impressive yeah, to Shane, listen to. Shane definitely so. has a barrel of a voice, you know. And, and <laughs> well he's a barrel of a guy. Yeah, so. Yeah. so you know he's he's a very talented dude and uh, and you know along with Josh, uh, you know, his vocals too just adding mm -hmm. so much like with the harmonies and the dynamics even you know he takes over a song as well and uh, but yeah there's just there's a lot of room for growth, you know, I think there's so much potential like creatively and, and uh, like we you know, we're excited to write a new record, you know, because it feels like this record's been out right. forever because we recorded forever ago, but reality is we're just getting started. We're going to promote this record, and then uh, when the time is right, get back in and record again. So. Nice. I know you got a ton of stuff going on today. It's been a long okay. day for you, so I'll just ask you one more question. Just sort of what is going to happen now after you finish up this current tour with In Flames and, and all that remains? What's next for World War? Um, let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to be doing some stuff in Europe um, towards the end of spring, and then you know we're going to be active. I mean, I think there's some international things uh, coming up in the fall and summertime, I'm guessing. And yeah, just you know, kind of trying to shape things as like tours and, and festivals get shaped, you know. And, and be, you know, starting over. The reality is that like, you know, they're, they're like we're not like 
a band that has been around that long and that has proven like you know whatever like a value for a bill or whatever it is you know like we're we're trying to get there you know and, and so as a result of that the planning phases are are uh, are, are taking a little bit longer you know and uh, but yeah we're just there's never even since we started there hasn't been a shortage of touring opportunities you know, which is really awesome I mean gosh like you know, we'll confirm one thing we're like oh we got this huge, huge gap what are we gonna do and all of a sudden something pops up Boom. you know and we're just like rad I mean even on this like album cycle so far I mean the, the tours that we've been able to do have been just like mind blowing you know like right. our black label that we did European festivals and we got a tour with In Flames mm -hmm. uh, over in Europe and then you know periphery nothing more than In Flames and all the remains right now you know and it's just mm -hmm. got a, definitely not a shortage of touring opportunities and uh, you know we're gonna obviously continue to work hard and just try to build it from the ground up so. it would not surprise me if i saw you guys on mayhem festival <laughs> yeah yeah you, you know, know we'll see what happens i mean there's, that, there's history there so yeah yeah, yeah. so you yeah. know we're obviously open to whatever you know whatever comes uh, our way and um and but the idea is to you know promote the new band and also reconnect with our right. fans as well so we're Absolutely. excited to do that jordan Woven War, fantastic to get a chance to sit down and talk with you. Looking forward to seeing the show tonight.